Hello everyone. In this video, we'll discuss last five years questions from the MOL Bio topic in IIT Jam. Right? Starting from 2021, we'll walk our way back towards 2016 or 2015. So this is dedicated for IIT Jam preparation. Like we are doing this particular topic, molecular biology, we have solved videos for microbiology. Cell biology, immunology, these kind of topics. So don't forget to watch that. All the links would be provided in the i button. Okay, if you are preparing for IIT Jam, CSIR NET, CAT B, CUCT, you need to learn concepts. You need to have a deeper understanding of the concepts. At the same time, you need to practice a lot of MCQ. One of the best way or best place to practice MCQ these days is an academy because you can practice from home there are a lot of courses right now a lot of practice sessions for CUCT for GATB for IIT JAM for many other MSc level entrance examination so you can use my code AP10 to get access of any of these things the link would be provided in the description you just need to download the app use my code app AP10 as an access code and then you can start uh, getting the benefit of all these materials. If you want to subscribe to Unacademy's Plus platform, you can still use my code AP10 to get a 10% discount. So you can really do it and you need to believe that you can and Unacademy gives you that confidence. In Unacademy, not only you encourage, engage with the educators, but you can also learn from, I mean, biggest stars in India like Sachin, like many other people. So today, Sachin would be online on five o'clock so you can quickly go there and interact with him. So let's come back to the video and try to understand the questions that were asked previously. So coming to 2021. Okay, this question says which of the following is or are common to both prokaryotic and eukaryotic gene expression. Before we start the video, let me tell you there would be at least one question from gene expression regulation. Most likely that question is going to be from lac operon or trip operon. But this particular question here, it is talking about like overall eukaryotic and prokaryotic uh, gene expression regulation. So let me tell you the options. Option A, coupled transcription and translation, post-translational modification, genetic code, presence of Tata sequence in the promoter. Now, Coupled transcription and translation is possible in prokaryotes, but it is not possible in eukaryotes because in eukaryotes, mRNA is processed in the nucleus, exported outside, and it en engages with the ribosome on the ER. So two separate segments, the translation and trans tra transcription happens in two different segments. So that is why this option A cannot be correct. But look at the question number. This is from a MSQ series. So you have to understand that more than one option could be correct. So apart from this answer cannot be correct. Post-translational modification could be possible in both eukaryotic and prokaryotic systems. Also in eukaryotic systems, we know post-translational I mean, post regulation is pretty common. But in bacteria also, there are many post-translational modification enzyme systems which help in the modification. So it's a correct option. Genetic code is similar between both these things. Like the way open reading frame is read in eukaryote and prokaryote is exactly same. The Tata box binding, I mean the, the Tata box promoter is present in both eukaryotes and prokaryotes. This is also correct. So B, C, D, these three things are the correct option. So it's a MSQ question. Three options are correct. Only A is not correct. So your option should be B, C, D. Okay, question number 27, the lack of linear correlation between genome size and genetic complexity among various species is known as C-value paradox, genetic diversity, G-value paradox, or central dogma. So let me tell you, people might have an idea that when organism is getting more complicated and complex, their genome would also get very complex. So there, there is kind of like a one-to-one -one correlation between genomic complexity and organismal complexity but sequencing data when sequencing results sort of like uh, coming out it has been noted that these kind of correlation does not exist though it was logically possible this did not exist many simple organism had fairly complex genome 
and there were there were many complex organisms which has fairly uh, simple genome so there is a paradox which is existing and that is known as c value paradox the correct option would be option a okay another question which says which of the following is or are involved in initiation of dna replication it is again question number 37 that means it is it is from msq section they talked about replication initiation at any point you want to learn about replication initiation in prokaryotes the link would be in the i button so row a is important for row gtpss are important for termination part sigma factor is important for prokaryotic transcription right for promoter recognition orec and um dna a along with dna b and dna c all of these are really important in prokaryote so if you want to learn more about these relevant links would be provided in the i button okay now 2021 is over let's come to 2020 okay so here is a particular question which says match the rnas in group uh, one and with their function so this is a very common type of question so they don't ask for really detailed analysis of all these rna type they don't expect you to know but they just roughly expect that you know what are the different type of rna regulatory rna exist in this world and what possibly they they regulate right so these things are important so first of all snrna pirna snow rna and sirna so first of all sirna so this is important for rna interference right so sirna is crucial for regulating mrna degradation or regulating mrna levels so s goes to 3 the correct option here is d because there is only one which has s equal to 3 but verify other things for example snorna it is always known for its ribosomal rna processing okay then pirna it is known for inhibiting the adverse effect of transposable element so it inhibits transposable element so from that aspect they have asked this question and this is a fairly interesting question okay then there is another question it says determine the correctness or otherwise the following i mean this is an assertion reason type question which is asked on lac operon let me straightforward tell you that lac operon is one of the most uh, i mean frequently asked topics in iit jam almost every year they ask about lac operon so i'm going to make a different video on lac operon okay but uh, yeah in this particular video let's uh, solve this question since it came so the assertion says lac operon is an inducible operon okay reason says lac operon is not induced when repressor protein remains bound to the operator dna sequence and here are the options so let me tell you the option b is correct okay both these things are true e individually these statements are true but one is not the reason for another okay so you know what is a repressible operon or a inducible operon inducible operon is that operon whose expression is generally off so the default state is off but in presence of some stimulator in presence of lactose the operon genes would be turned on so this is known as an inducible operation system okay fine so you this kind of statement should justify the assertion now they have given reason reason they have said that lac operon is not induced when the repressor protein remains bound to the operator dna sequence this statement is correct because repressor binds to the operator dna segment and don't allow these particular operon to turn on when lactose is not present right but that is not the justifiable uh, answer for assertion right so that is why option b is correct okay let's coming let, let's talk about uh, 2019 okay a mutation in the operator locus of lac operon that confers constitutive expression of beta galactosidase is cis dominant trans dominant co dominant dominant negative okay you have to understand what it is what 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 element it is it's a operator element operator is a part of the dna right so it's a regulatory element which is same as a dna right 
so that is why it's a cis regulation cis dominant okay it's a cis okay which one of the following modification can occur in both dna and protein so let me tell you methylation is one of the modification which can happen in protein as well as in dna so this is the correct option okay third question number 31 that means against msq uh, pick the correct statement with respect to interconversion of topoisomerase of a circularly closed double stranded dna so you need to know how topoisomerase works it works in an atp dependent fashion so the correct options are option b and option d so about topoisomerase i would have a separate video and the link would be provided in the description okay question number uh, i mean uh, year 2018 and here there is a question which says the predominant mechanism of microRNA mediated regulation of gene expression is inhibition of translation of the target mRNA. So basically, these microRNAs bind to the 5' prime or 3' prime UTR and regulate the translation. Okay. So if you learn want to learn more about this, you would find it in I button. 2017. It has a particular question which says which of the following is not involved in eukaryotic translation so this format of question is very important what is the similarity between uh, central dogma processes let's say what is the similarity between replication process or which process is unique in one and not the other so these kind of questions are very important this particular question says which of the following is not involved in eukaryotic translation ribosome spliceosome mrna trna so spliceosome is important for splicing reaction okay splicing out the introns and joining the exons so spliceosome does not help in translation okay it helps in post transcriptional mrna processing exactly so spliceosome is the correct option if you want to learn more about splicing you would get the link okay which of the following is true uh, of protein synthesis only in prokaryotes like something which is only relevant in prokaryotes not relevant in eukaryotes translation and transcription are coupled already we have encountered this particular uh, question in a different format at 2021 right remember that you can skip I mean, pause this video go to the first part and you would see the same pro form of question the codon aug codes for the start signal the trna antigodon can bind to two or more different uh, i mean two or more different codons the functional ribosome contain two subunits uh, constructed of protein and RNA, right? So we have to identify that is true only for prokaryotes. Here is translation and transcription which are coupled. That is not true for eukaryotes because translation and transcription are uncoupled. One is happening in the nucleus. That means transcription is happening in the nucleus. Translation is happening in the cytosol on the uh, ribosome on the rough endoplasmic reticulum. So option a is the correct option but i wanted to highlight this pro forma they have asked similar questions based on similar concepts so iit jam is a exam where they repeat concepts and questions okay so which of the following is or are correct for a trip operon so let me tell you that we are not solving trip operon right now because i'm going to make a different video on lack on lack and trip operon which is super important these kind of questions are super important but i'll make a different video purposefully 2016 2016 has a uh, nat type question it says of 152 nanometer long watson crick paired uh, b form of dna will contain dash number of turns so we have 152 nanometer stretch so we know one dna turn is 34 amstrong or 3.4 nanometer long so we just have to divide 152 by 3.4 and if we do the math it would come somewhere around let me see would come around uh, 40 uh, yeah 45 in, in in sort of like whole numbers yeah then there is another question says match the entire group 1 with group 2 dna replication harsey chase genetic code then ura miller then uh, life on earth michelson style dna genetic material nirenberg and kurana so this is an important question and if you arrange it properly option c would be correct for example nirenberg and kurana did the genetic code right life on earth was uh, uh, examined in artificial situation based on uh, ura miller's experiment we know that dna replication 
happened with uh, Michelson and Stahl's experiments, right? So these kind of basic understanding is really important and they had asked question on that. Okay, this particular question is for you. You are going to solve it and tell me the particular number. A bacteria, in bacteria, our ribosome synthesizes a protein containing 300 amino acid from mRNA in 20 seconds. Okay, if average lifetime of an mRNA is 2 minutes, the number of ribosomes that can translate a single mRNA containing this many nucleotide is what? Okay, so it is very easy. So your effective time for doing the process of translation is what? 2 minutes. That means 120 seconds. In 120 seconds, you have to understand how many rounds can happen. Okay, how many rounds can happen? And here the particular uh, ribosome can move let's say uh, it, it can scan 300 amino acid in 20 seconds so per second how many much it can scan or you have to calculate that for whole this particular stretch of mrna what would be the time required so this is the, the, these would give you a clue to solve it yeah the answer would be i mean i will provide it in the in the comment section 2015. Okay, which part of the genomic DNA contain a sequence correspond to five prime untranslated region? Again, see, they ask question about miRNA, siRNA, UTRs, five prime untranslated region, all of these things. Want to learn more about five prime and three prime UTR? Click on the link given in the i button. Okay, so yeah, uh, so five prime utr or three prime utr they are untranslated region but they are part of the exon so exon is the correct option here next question which of the following is not true of rna polymerase 2 okay so you have to identify which is not true regarding rna polymerase 2 yes the incorrect statement is it requires a primer to initiate okay so DNA polymerase requires a priming activity and then it can extend but rna polymerase don't need that okay so 2014 is the last year that we are going to solve in 2014 there is another similar kind of question that is asked tata box binding protein previously 2021 they asked a question on tata box right so again see things are repeated rec a amino acyl trna synthetase dna primase these are one side and they are involved in which process for example tata box binding protein you know it is involved in transcription dna primase its function is to prime right it, it works like a primer adding stuff so it, it helps in replication amino acyl trna synthetase it charged the trna so it is in the translation process and reke this is important or crucial for recombination so this is for question number one here so the correct uh, option which is encompassing all of these uh, nice matches would be c so after all of these solving these questions, let me tell you these are the most important topics in my opinion. First of all, they talk about these enzymes that you have learned right now that are used in molecular biology. Central dogma, they would ask on questions, but based on the enzymes, inhibitors of these central dogma processes via antibiotics. So there is a common question between microbiology and um, molecular biology. Then they would ask several questions on trip operon and lac operon which we would look in a different video so this topic number three you should dedicate a, a different amount of time on that part okay then techniques in biology or associated with molecular biology that can also be asked so yep so this is the overall plan by which you can spend one week to 1.5 week and you can get a total revision of these uh, topic okay from lac operon i'll tell you that every year they ask question how lac operon is regulated so next video would be on lac operon where we would discuss about lac operon and trip operon okay and how what angle they are asking questions to what depth so stay tuned till the next video thanks for watching if you like this video give it a big thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you if you want to join my unacademy course you can use my code ap10 to get a 10 percent discount thank you